Hi, everybody. Greg Wilkins back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Thursday, April 7th, 2022. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, motivate you, and put a smile on your face as well. Make sure to check us out on my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, or on Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78, where you can leave your comments, devotional topic requests, birthday and anniversary shout outs for your friends and loved ones. Any audio or video performances that you would like to submit to be a featured part of the devotional for that day or to catch up on any episodes you may have missed. I pray that whenever you watch this devotional on today, or whatever you watch it in the past or when you watch it in the future, I pray that the devotional you watch will be a blessing and an encouragement to you for your day all throughout your day. Let's continue with our countdown to Easter with today's devotional entitled Multipurpose. Food Network star and pretty funny guy and food science genius Alton Brown has one big pet peeve. Unitaskers. It's just, it's the one thing you, it's one kitchen appliance that you buy that only serves that one, that one purpose. For example, he's, he's, he says, for example, it makes no difference to get an electric carving knife. It's a knife. Just get a knife and you carve, carve your turkey, carve your ham or whatever. And I, I don't understand it because you can't use it for anything else. It's, it's a knife. He likes to get things that are multi-purpose that can have more, more than one use. For example, instead of, instead of wasting your money trying to go buy a, a steamer or a rotisserie, you can make one out at home. He, on Good Eats, I forgot which episode of Good Eats it was. That's one of his shows they used to have. I think it's on the Food Channel now. And uh, he got two ceramic pots. He, he makes sure they were cleaned out thoroughly because you can use them for planting flowers and whatnot. He had two ceramic pots that he already had and he set them on top of each other. Before he did that, he got like a little wire grate and then he had a pan sitting in the bottom of it and he drilled two holes in the side for for uh, for uh, aeration or whatever, or he had, a, he had another use for it. That's what he had, he had another use for it. I'll get to that in a second. And he said he, uh, he put his chicken on that little wire rack and he placed it down into the pot, put the other pot on top of it and he got a, a hot plate that he got at a hardware store for like eight bucks. And he set that whole contraption on top of a hot plate and it became a rotisserie because ceramics hold heat very well. And when the when the fat dripped off the chicken, it fell into the bottom of the pan. And he said, in fact, you could put your, your peppers or your potatoes or your onions, anything in the bottom of that pan. And as the drippings of the chicken fall down, it mixes with that and it roasts the vegetables as well. So you could, you could have your own complete meal in one contraption device. And he said, or you could take out the rack and you could stick in a skewer through the holes you drilled in the side, put a little crank on it, and you got yourself a rotisserie. And it's just, that's the type of thing. He takes things that are used for something else and finds different purposes of how to use them in the kitchen. Well, finding multi-purpose things, multi-purpose people, is something we all desire to do. Employers look for people who are kind, courteous, work well with others, to stay on task and do more than one task at, a t at the same time, be punctual and be uh, able to di be diversal, versatile in whatever they're doing have a very broad spectrum of what they can do and do it well. Not being a jack of all trades and a master of none, but being excellent in all things, typing a certain amount of words a minute, being able to operate email at a very, very high proficient level, being able to work copy machines, fax machines. I know fax machines are kind of out of date, but be able to work uh, the office suite and all, be, all these things, be able to answer phones when receptionists aren't there, be able to lead meetings, be able to, to execute and use PowerPoint, all these types of things, as well as being able to travel and meet people face to face and have good communication skills and all those types of things to have to be, have a high level of proficiency, in all those things being multi-purposed. And we look for devices that try to do those things as well. Like we like to like the Energizer Bunny. He, he keeps going and going and going. We want, we want objects and people who can keep going no matter what the situation is to do our best, to do our best, 
to be our best and everything we do. Like I said, not being a jack of all trades and master of none. It's one thing to be able to do a lot of things, but not greatly. But it's another thing to do a whole lot of things and do them at the same high level of excellence. But at the, in this countdown at Easter, as we draw closer to Easter, I can't think of any other person or any other thing that could do more than one thing at, at not just the high level, at the highest level than Jesus Christ. He was there from the beginning. He'll be there at the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is our comfort in times of sorrow. He is our healer. He's the man that walked on water. He's the man that healed the sick. He's the man that raised the dead. He's the man that fed, that fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children that were there, but two fibs, two, two small sardines and five little, little biscuits. And he did it again with 4,000 men at a separate time with like, I think, three loaves of bread and two fishes or something like that. Forgive me for not knowing the exact amount that he had at that time. He turned water into wine. He he heals broken hearts. He clears regulated minds. He cast out devils. He, he and most importantly, he got up on that cross and he purchased the ransom for our death for us. He cleansed our sins with his precious blood. No other thing, no other person can do those things and so much more. We don't have time on this devotional to go over the things that the Lord can do and the Lord will do for us. He is the ultimate multi-purpose person. So if we're ever looking for someone and something that can do anything and everything at not just a decent level, but at a high level, like an old song says, I recommend Jesus. He is the one. That can, that can solve your issue, solve my issue, solve the person issue 30 miles away, solve another person's issues in China, solve another person's issue in Cambodia, solve another person's issue in England, solve another person's injury, issue in Nigeria, solve another person's issue in Poland, solve another person's issue in Brazil, solve another person's issue in North Korea. He is the same God that can solve anybody's issue and everybody's issue everywhere. There is no limit to what God can do. There's a song by Timothy Wright that said, he's big enough to hang the moon and stars, but he's small enough to know just who we are. He knows the number of head, he, no, heads, number of hairs on our head. And there's another song that said, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Therefore, I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I'm happy because I know if he's watching that little bird, he's watching me. He's providing for me. He's taking care of me. He's leading me. And he's, he's, He's doing all these things for me. He provides grace and mercy for us every day. We can go on and on and on and on and on. There is nothing that God can do. Sarah laughed when God told him that we're going to provide your baby. And she's 90 and she laughed. And then God's response was, is there anything too hard for me? And absolutely not. That's the kind of mindset we've got to carry. There is nothing too hard for Jesus. There's nothing too difficult for Jesus to do. If he got up on the third day with all power in his hand, what is it that he cannot do? And because we believe that he got up, we can get up. And through him, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And that's the kind of mindset we gotta keep, knowing that we can be multi-purposed through him, not on our own, through him, through his strength, through his grace, through his mercy. We are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. That's the type of God we serve. So I encourage you on today, when we're looking at our issues, whatever they may be, and we're trying to figure out how we're going to get out, let's remember the same one who hung and bled and died on that cross for us, who was laid in the borrowed tomb. That's a key word. I'll go over that in a little bit later, about probably next week. And got up on the third day, claiming victory over death, hell, and the grave with all power in his hands. So there's nothing that he, we, he cannot do. So when we trust and believe in him, we know we're going to come out all right. It may not come when we want it to, but it will definitely come just when we need it to. So I encourage you, let's continue to trust and praise the true multi-purpose being in all, not only on earth, but all throughout creation, Jesus Christ. Today's feature song is a song that was performed by the Greater Mount Calvary Recording Choir from, the, it's, the, it's the choir from the Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church in Washington, DC. And this was their first album this comes off their first album, which is entitled Greater Mount Calvary Live, as told by the music ministry. And the name of the song is Christ Did It All. There's an old, old fashioned song that said Christ did it all. He, he healed the sick, raised the dead, suffered, bled and died, arose from the grave. Christ did it all. 
Now I am free. Christ did it all. I have the victory. And, and it's such a beautiful song. And that's the song was kind of based on that song. It doesn't have those exact words, but because Christ did it all, we are able to go forth and do whatever we need to do to be the best representative of Christ, knowing that when we trust in him and believe in him, he did it all and we believe in him, we can do it all. We're trusting and believing in Christ all the way. I hope today's devotional has been a blessing to you. And I hope that in a few minutes, today's feature song will also be an encouragement and a blessing to you in this Easter season and any other day that you may listen and remember. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your grace and mercy extended to us every day. We do not have the time to say all the things you are to us, so we just say thank you. We say thank you for loving us. We say thank you for covering us. We say thank you for protecting us. Thank you for not giving up on us. We understand and recognize there is no thing that we can do on our own, so you are able to do everything. And we thank you for being that El Shaddai, for being that Jehovah Jaffa, the Jehovah Rapha of our lives. We thank you that there's nothing that is too hard for you and you have done it all for us. And it started by bleeding and dying on that cross for us and declaring victory over the death, hell, and the grave. And because you got up, we can get up as long as we believe and trust in you. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you for being our multi-purpose in everything that you can do. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, unfortunately, this would be the part that we would have birthday and anniversary shout outs, but I couldn't find any in my databases. So if you have any birthday shout outs or anniversary shout outs or any, anyone that you know, be, be, be kind. Make sure to send them to me uh, in the comment section below where you're watching on the Daily Pause or on Facebook or on YouTube or on Twitter, or you can send them to me on Facebook Messenger. You can send them to me on Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78. You can email them to me at glwilkins78 at outlook.com or text it to me at 864-706-5916. Before we go, I would like to give today's random trivia fact, and it's a very interesting fact. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Walter Arnold was driving through a small town in Kent, England, and he got pulled over by the constable. He was driving eight miles an hour, and the constable gave him a ticket for driving four times the posted limit of two miles an hour. He gave him a ticket and he had to pay four British pounds and seven shillings, making Walter Arnold the very first person in January 28, 1896, to be charged with speeding. Eight miles an hour, could you imagine that? <laughs> Eight miles an hour, a two mile an hour speed limit, imagine that. But that's today's random trivia fact, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have one you would like to send me, you can send it to me through all the areas I mentioned earlier. And I hope you've been blessed by that, and hope you put, I hope it's put a smile on your face. Enjoy today's feature song, Christ Did It All, performed by the Greater Mount Calvary Recording Choir from the 2011 release, Greater Mount Calvary Live, as told by the music ministry, provided to YouTube by CD Baby, and published in 2011 by Calvary Records. Hope you're encouraged by it and I hope this has been a blessing to you. Continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and remember, every day there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Today's feature song starts right now. Take care. May God be with you on, on, on today. And God bless. <laughs>